welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. And he. Show. That was terrible. That's what we're going to start doing. Stuff like that. I took such a squirrely dump this morning. Cool. I feel like we didn't really get to talk about it. We don't need to. Here we go. How okay. does this work? What are you doing? Um, <laughs> so what we're doing is we're practicing Tantra. Ugh. And uh, one of the key things that most people don't realize is that orgasm is different from the traditional release that comes from climax. Ugh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Plug in whatever thing needed to be plugged in. You got it. This shit is big time! <laughs> Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother to this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom, Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsin. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. That was fun. Um, so I don't know if you remember the. Uh... Hi, Melanie. And I'm Scotty O. With Ecstatic Hearts Tantra. Uh. And we just want to share that there are many ways to orgasm. Uh. You don't actually have to be having sex. You can orgasm just from hugging. Uh. Yeah. So we showed you these disgusting people a while ago. Yeah. The cum huggers. Mm. And um, apparently now they're doing international interviews about it <laughs> it's so stupid yeah it's so dumb it, it's so horrible she's real gummy and i don't really like to shit on people's mouths too much you don't no i'm like kind of really open-minded and stuff about people seems like teeth. it's a, there's so much more to go after that you you didn't need to do that but go ahead <laughs> no it's just a little gummy Okay, but I, the, I, I, I hate them so much, and I'm trying to like. It, what do you hate about them? I just feel like it's to, it's total nonsense. Like it's it's just uh, it's horseshit. Mm. It's so and it's such like a waste of um, energy. Like I feel like they're good people. They're nice. You could tell they're nice people. They're totally nice. But like, feed orphans in Romania or like dig wells in. In Uganda, you know what I'm saying? Like, does it, does it really have to be about coming? Haven't we haven't we done enough for orgasms in in society? I don't know. I mean, if they could really teach everyone to come hug, that's pretty big achievement. <laughs> I think there's so many more problems in the world. I mean, instead of having the traditional trajectory where you kind of get excited and then climax <laughs> and then go to sleep, uh -huh. you're the able to part. have <laughs> a, an experience where yeah. you keep going and you can start no, having thanks. multiple experiences. No, you mean that the awesome part where you nut and you're like, I'm out. Let's end oh, and, that. and then stop talking. Good night. Get, yeah, get out of here. Don't touch my stuff. That is the best part. I know. Did you notice that he's shorter than her when they're standing? And then they've made him taller than her in the sitting. He also looked like he put on some Isn't weight. That interesting. Well, when you're cum hugging, maybe you just, you're just laying yeah. down all the time. Right? Doesn't he look bigger than the. No, I don't think so. Well, look at his face there. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Melanie. And I'm Scotty O. You don't With think he gained weight? Hearts Tantra. From men? Maybe, yeah. Share that Maybe. There are Could many be the ways to orgasm. Yeah, okay. don't man, anyway. And then when you decide yeah, to he's have a climax, yeah. you might come down to yeah. here, but you're in an orgasmic state that can then last for a long time. So then it'll start kind of going down again so you can eat and, you know, play and then make love oh, and bring uh, it back up again. Look at this guy. He's so excited. The dude listening. Yeah. I, I just, this guy's I like, just come you to. You could get me coming too. Oh, oh so. <laughs> Can you get me to come when I hug me mum? I hug me mum every Sunday for tea. Me Can you get me to come when I do that? <laughs> Normally, my wife has to tug on me balls. To How about come. that pairing? 
Studio you get to London come on parents. my nuts. Yeah, I love it. She's like 20 years old and he's a thousand. <laughs> It's totally normal. Cool. Someone's not camera ready. No, he's gross. Uh, he's got. Okay. Tan- I get this okay. from the from the uh, from the uh, coming point of view. Okay. From your point of view, yeah. um, because there is that ultimate <laughs> moment. <laughs> You're not doing that for eighteen hours, are you? I mean, you, you? you'd be an you'd be an empty shell. You have no more cum. No more cum in your balls. Do you know? Uh, you know what's really annoying about these two is that they're always like they're always having to smile and be in character. Like, yeah. oh, we're just always ecstatic. I just had a like, so fucking six day orgasm. I feel great. <laughs> yeah. No, but that's the thing. Two different things. So yeah. you can actually have a full body blissful orgasm that's actually more powerful than anything you've done before uh-huh. without the traditional release and the drain of energy. I think this guy is confusing. Um, Content feelings with orgasming. Yeah. He's like, you feel the tingling. You mean like if you hug someone and you're happy about it? Like endorphins or yeah. whatever. And you just feel good. And he's like, we're orgasming right now. No, you're not. Yeah, maybe. I don't think he's having an or. I think he's confused. He thinks that we're confused. I think he's confused. Yeah, I think he's. Well, yeah, clearly these people are misguided. Yeah. What do you, what do you mean? Like he's tingling. Yeah, it feels good. I gave someone a hug. I like it. Yeah. But like they're roll they're not hugs, Tom. They're rolling sensations. And how is he teaching you to come hug? Orgasmic. He how does how do you teach the cum hug? That's a very good point. No, I don't You bump. can't teach a cum hug. Either you can or you can't come hug. Yeah. I think it's it's a it's a little suspect when there's two people in the cum hugging, you know, business and everyone else is like, I hug. I come. How come I can't make them line up like you guys? And they're like, "Oh, you need to take our class." That's you know? true. If I if I met other couples that they've taught to come hug successfully, then maybe it's always them. You know, I wish we could send your parents to go learn to come hug with these two. Oh my god, that would be the best. That would be the best <laughs> segment ever, ever on anything. <laughs> your dad would love it. You no, know, I just keep hugging. I'm gonna come after that. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Did you come, buddy? Hey, buddy, yeah. I give you a hug, but I want to come on you. <laughs> Dad, uh, I got trained. I, I come when I hug now, pal. <laughs> Dad. We practice Tantra, oh, which helps geez. us to pull oh. the sexual energy up our bodies. So uh-huh. actually, the longer we make love, the more energized we get. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I hate that they're from Los Angeles. These two, I d- this is the these are the people that give us a bad rep. Yeah, you know what I mean. She could be going to sleep at ten, and by dawn we're like, Wah! yeah, so I could be like, sleeping why? at the beginning, and he like, like, encourages me to keep going, and then I just keep getting more energized every time, and oh, we can still be going. For sure. How about guys. how about that raw puss though? Right. When talking about when they're, they're not actually fucking, babe. They're no, they're fucking. talking about fucking too. Oh, now they're talking yeah. about actual fucks? Yes. Mm. Well, uh, I don't like her voice. She talks like the dumb girl that you do the impression of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not actually, I'm not actually, I'm Sometimes I'll be tired. <laughs> I'm, um, I'll be like, we should keep doing that. I'm like, all right. <laughs> and then I feel energized afterwards. Yeah. Like, After I, we do I, it, I feel good. <laughs> Yeah. Like, don't you, you do know what you sound like when you talk, right? Like, she's no she awareness that no. she sounds totally ridiculous. Yeah. Are you, are you not, <laughs> uh, are you never burst out laughing? Huh? Do Have we you never burst just laughing? burst huh? out laughing? Oh, yeah. We, the, the we thing do all about the time. Tantra is we, yeah. we experience all of our emotions in lovemaking. So we laugh yeah, at ourselves. Lovemaking. We cry. Where's that dry puss God. question, though? I think that's the question that everybody's thinking about. Is that her vagina will dry out from so much of a beating? I mean, beating. can you imagine if we had 18-hour sessions no, or whatever? No, I can't. I, I don't or like it, he said, time? like, at night and then by fucking sunrise, it's like, you want to fuck for nine hours? These two don't got no kids. No. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got no but toddler. But I mean, even if you, I mean, let's say you didn't, have, do you want to fuck for a, no. half a day? No. I got stuff to do. On, well, here's the thing. Is that I don't want to do that. Trish and Bob, Bobby... Uh, we get our freak on, and then it's straight to the the routine. We got flipping out to catch up on. We've got the shows of sunset. There's shows to watch. We've got we finished you know, Ozark. Ozark. You know what I mean? Like real married couples. You got to yeah. You got to fuck and then do the stuff married couples do. Yeah. You can't just fuck, fuck, fuck all the time. No, it's, it's not just it, about it's that. It's silly. No, there's other parts to a marriage. This you ain't got college. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You guys got to go downstairs, get your snack, get, give the dogs treats. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's all these things. Yeah. I do. I feel you. 
in order to do this kind of thing, you have to be connected with your emotions and your feelings yeah. uh -huh. and your channel so that you can feel the energy moving through your body. And that's what makes it kind of a spiritual practice as well as just a, an orgasmic one. I can, I can doing lovemaking all the time. It totally what? is an orgasmic experience as well. What? what? I, don't know. I feel like Studio London might think that Studio Los Angeles is retarded. I think they're right. Yeah. I'd agree with Studio London on this one. Yeah. I this think is so. embarrassing. I'm sorry, Angelinos. I'm, I'm, I'm apologizing. I'm embarrassed. I'm, I'm embarrassed. The, you talk like that. Well. I hate, I'd hate when <laughs> LA girls talk like that. It's so embarrassing. What time are they doing this show? Alza. Right? Alza. Alza. Alza like. You don't necessarily have to be together to make this work because this is an energy exchange. What? Am I right thinking you can be in separate rooms and do this? Yeah. Um, so, first of all, Nonsense. we can feel each other even when we're apart. Oh, blah, blah, and blah, second blah, of all, blah. we can oh, blah, orgasm blah. all by ourselves just Duh. through breathing and okay. like feeling um, orgasm with God. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm sure your mom would like that part, right? Yeah, that would be the best part for my mom <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Like religious people. This would like be my mom's that. face right here. <laughs> Studio London guy's face. Did you just say you're gonna come with God? Yeah. Is that Unfortunately, what you just that's said? the end of the, the clip that we have. <laughs> so I would love to hear the follow up to that. I could come with God. Like, I'm sorry. What? Uh, yeah. What did you just say? Okay, that's sweetie. That's super disrespectful. You ever come with God? <laughs> yeah, buddy. Your mom and I uh, came, Fuck me. came with God. Yeah. Anyway. It's so gross. <sighs> See, your dad would talk to you about his cum hugs all the time if he could do it. Maybe so I don't know. Gross. He never. He was never that guy. It's I know hard. some guys. You know, their dads would get a little too familiar, a little personal with that stuff. Yeah, thank God he gross. wasn't like that. He was. I mean, he's like obviously with bathroom stuff. Yeah. But not with sex stuff. Thank God. And it's real traumatizing I as a child. I never want to hear that. What makes his dick? Who does? I mean, I've prodded him for like full bush, right. like big cans. Right. But he doesn't actually like. No details. I don't want to. It's disgusting. Yeah, I've never heard of details. It's thank it's, God. It's borderline incestuous when your parents tell you about Ugh. their sex lives yeah. or what turns them on. It's like I don't. You're never supposed to know that stuff. One time we were we were on nasty um, as hell, like a little weekend trip. That nasty. And there was a a couple. They had they were new. They were each other's second marriage, and they each had their own kids. And the dad. Uh, I was talking to his son was 15 and he had on some high school sweatshirt with football on it. So he started talking about football and he was like, yeah, I was like, he's a big kid. And he was like, yeah, you know, he plays whatever position and blah, blah, blah. And then I'm sitting there talking to him. I remember this guy now. Yeah. And he goes, yeah. uh, he's like, you know, I told him, man, just get all the pussy you can, you know? And Ugh. I was like, what? And he's like, I told him. You know, this, this, you got to get all the pussy you can right now. Yeah. I was looking at him like, dude, do you really think your fucking son wants you to talk to him about all the pussy he can get? No. Like, no, no kid wants to hear that from his dad. No. You know, no. Let, let his uncle say that if, if it's, if someone has to, but like, do you, you're his do dad, you even have dude. to? It's fucking, it's weird, man. It's weird. It's wrong. I don't even like hearing sex jokes. Like from like parents shouldn't be telling sex jokes. It's somebody to their else's kids. parents. It's says nasty that. as yeah. hell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's wrong. Weird. It's totally. Could you imagine saying something to LJ? Like you getting laid, kid. And like no. ugh. No. This is so wrong. I want to shut that whole thing down for. Like I'll talk yeah. like that crazy to somebody else, but not my own kid. Mm, no, it's wrong. Yeah, I, I looked at the guy. And he was like, right? And I remember I was like, uh, yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> get it as much as you can. And you could tell the kid was like. Hmm. He knew. He knew. He was, a, he was a cute boy. He was a good boy. But he knew. He knew. That, like, uh, I Gross. wish my dad didn't do this. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Just be normal. You just want them to be normal. Yeah. Folks. Just, just don't be gross. Don't be. And weird. I was also a new guy, right? I met them at this thing, and here his dad's talking about some him and pussy in front of him. Like, it's <laughs> strange. Do you think, yeah, oh, it's weird. Man, it's weird. Way to, way to do it, Dad. Here's a fingernail question. <sighs> um, somebody wrote in. What if you're dating someone for like six months and they're like, hey, I need to tell you, I used to have 12 inch fingernails. Hmm. Obviously a deal breaker. When is the right time to tell someone you used to be a fucking maniac? <laughs> I think that you wait on that. You wait. You sit yeah. on that knowledge. But the fact that they used to be and now they're reformed. Yeah, it's fine. Right. But you yeah. still wouldn't want to give that away early. Yeah. Wait you know? till 
you gotta wait till the I love yous have been exchanged. Yeah, and there's like, you, if if you have like a weird thing that you're even that you're into now, I don't. I'm not an advocate of sharing that up front. Mm. Just kind of. No, I'm saying like, don't you don't have to introduce like, ah, uh, piss in my mouth. I love it. You know, like that's not a date one thing to introduce. Not a date one, but soon ish because why? Well, because that way you weed out the 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 ones that aren't gonna do it. You get it. You knock it out early. Yeah, not too early, because it it's not your sole identity. So since it's not your identity, you yeah. can. I mean, if you're like all I do is drink piss and that's what I live by, yeah, then you need to. But if you're like that's kind of my thing. You don't need to bring that up on the That's third true. date either. You kind of want the you want the girl to like you, like right. you, you kind of want to rope her in and manipulate her a and little bit like, more emotionally. Tell me a secret, like yeah, you know, tell me a secret. Tell me a secret. I like to call her. Be like, well, you remember the other day when you were going to the bathroom and you, she's like, <laughs> yeah. God. I really wish you would have gone. Hi, hair. And then she's like, wait, what? And then you're like, well, I already it's booked us thing. a trip to fucking fiji so i guess you're gonna have to piss in my mouth yeah over you're, there. you're kind of manipulating the situation a little to me it sounds like yeah that's what i'm suggesting roping her in and then like you want this free trip right <laughs> then you gotta pee exactly. in my mouth yeah exactly if you want to get away with something that weird you gotta manipulate a little bit that's hmm. what i would that's what a doctor would tell you to do it's interesting or just be super rich like that also gets millionaire you. status, like that guy, yeah, the like Nicaraguan the, hammocks or whatever. Right, shit through the hammock in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, that's all you need is a few mil, and women are like, okay. I, have, I mean, other than that Jeez. being disgusting, that that's fine because he was like, I'll give you a hundred bucks of shit in my the mouth, fair. and they were like, all right, even Steven. yeah, even Steven. There's no problem with that. No, I like a, I like the, uh, I like an honest exchange. Yeah, you know, like I, we we talked about this on the live show a little bit. <clears throat> with Hugh Hefner's uh, death, I don't, I don't think he was some great fucking pioneer. I think he was kind of a creeper, and uh, he had a, a mansion full of broken, broken girls who he, you know, he let live there for free, but he didn't pay them. He had like a weekly stipend, and then it was a you come watch a movie with him, yeah, and like silk pajamas, and then uh, he butt fucked a lot of them, <laughs> butt sexed them because he yeah. didn't want to get anyone pregnant. It's true. Read, yeah. read Holly, uh, Holly Madison's book All about the butt fucking, huh? Yeah, it's disgusting. Butt fucking such a power move. Like I know some people. <laughs> It's, some people are it certainly is. <laughs> yeah. It certainly is. Some I know women that are you know very much into it for the physical sensation, like that. That's for them is euphoria, right? Mm. Um, and there's obviously people who that's their sexual turn on, but in and of itself, like if you strip, let's say someone's preferences to that away, that's an aggressive move. You yeah, know? It's, it's, a, I mean, your, it's a it's a dominant move. It sure like, is. I'm gonna fuck you in your ass. In your now. butthole. In your butthole. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah, your butthole is very sensitive and, and poop oh. comes out. Oh my God, you guys are so disgusting. Yeah, it's poop. That's where poop yeah. comes out of. I guess they credit that pervert. He's like, oh, the big sexual revolution. Yeah, but it was still according to like a white guy's preference. Butt fucking though. And only oh, blondes. Right? Only, it was like, it was one type of woman that yeah. he liked. It was like, yeah. you know, the cookie cutter, big tits, Pam Anderson. Yep. If you had little hungry tits, forget it. You had a big ass, forget it. It was like his way. Yeah. And I, I liked Larry Flint way better than yeah, we talked about that. smut peddling Larry Flint. Yeah. Uh, just because it's honest. Or he was like, put that fucking candle holder there, in your puss. That's right. Yeah. You want $100? Yeah. <laughs> Spread it. Spread Great. It. Can you put your hand further up there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there's no horse shit mystique of the mansion and, and living no. with Hefner. And he was a real. You know, uh, uh, God. Flint was just like, like, I'm a pig. He's a pig. Yeah. yeah I'm a perv. And it's an even exchange. Yeah. Here's some cash, spread your beef. And there was no convoluted thing of like, how many girlfriends does a guy have? Come over here, I'm gonna bust in my gold wheelchair real quick, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and, and he said too, like that, well Holly said in her book that they he would be like, all right, you two make out. And then they'd make out and he'd, you know, jerk it. That's cool. And then they'd throw like the new girl at him so that they were off the hook for the night kind oh, of right. thing. Like, oh my God, and you like, deal with him. Yeah. They're like, how about that? You got half tonight. And she's like, that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> he kept fucking my butt though. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he does. That's what he does. Isn't that great? Rad? He's 92 today. Isn't that yeah. cool? It's exciting. And Fuck I... your great great grandpa. Yeah. 
<laughs> and I, I and I and last night with, with the live show and, and people were like, yeah, it's great exposure. OK, well, you think about it. Yeah. Let's think about the stars that really came out of Playboy. You had your Pamela Anderson. That's the anomaly. I think she she was Pamela Anderson is a genuine like an icon. She's Canadian, but but became an American. Yeah, sure. Icon she's of iconic, beauty. For sure. Uh, maybe Jenny McCarthy. Yeah. But she was famous before she did it. She was, you know. I don't remember. But other than that, I mean, who's who's really Wasn't stacking? Carmen Electra a playmate? Yeah, yeah. But she was also fucking Prince and yeah, no. I don't she know was what is a chicken famous. or the egg. Yeah, were yeah. you a, were you a hoe before? You know, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I just. I just. When Hoes he died, I was hoe, like, man, they're gonna do their thing. You know, it's funny too. Holly was saying that the mansion was all run down and shit too. She's like, it's not nice. The shit's old as fuck. You know, they put in bunk beds in the playmates' rooms. See, I don't know shit. why. Why <laughs> like, you would give up on keeping it like super nice? Because it's expensive. I'm sure. Yeah, but he's got the money. You gotta retile the grotto. And they're like, hey, do you want new carpets in that room? He's like, how am I says it? <laughs> Um, it's three thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, just leave the old carpet there. Okay, Hef. <laughs> I don't think. Um, I don't think there's Playboy selling I wanna anymore. I want to fuck somebody in the butt right now. <laughs> okay, we'll get the new girl down here immediately. But don't you imagine that once the internet started, that who the heck is even looking at Playboy? Oh, of course. When you can it see changed everything. Yeah, like no one's yeah. buying that shit for the last twenty years. Well, it's yeah, because you crapper. used to get. I mean, when I was a kid. Obviously, there's no internet, and the magazine was just tits. That's the one thing. But you it's kind of nice, right? Because you were excited by that. You're excited by <laughs> seeing some bush, right? You're like, oh, and just like a beautiful body. You're like, yeah, oh, man, that's. I'm gonna jerk off to this right now. Right. And then the internet ruined, it. <laughs> desensitized you completely. Yeah. Where you're like a naked body, so. Yeah, what can it do? Can I? Can we stab it? Can we put it <laughs> yeah. its head in a toilet bowl? Why isn't she crying more? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is she gagging, choking? Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> can I put my fist down her oh, throat? Oh, it's gotta be. How does my asshole yeah. smell, huh? Then, then now you gotta get you yeah. gotta get hard on with that. Isn't that funny? Yeah, it's so funny. It's really crazy, man. Yeah, I guess my only beef too is like. I, I always want to see women exploiting other women, not the I know. guy. Making why, the why? money, Yeah, right? make the yeah, money. Yeah. If you're going to exploit the women, at least give them the fucking the money, dickhead. Yeah. That's I like that. Saying. Yeah. Make that money. Come on, sluts. Make your own stuff. Yeah. I, I, you know? Because it all boils down to the finances, dude. He's got the power. They don't have the power. It sucks. <laughs> I think these days, I'm not, I mean, I don't know the specifics, the names Pacifics, and all that. Pacifics. The Pacifically, the things. But there's definitely some women, I think, doing some producing there some content. definitely are yeah. and look and i'm i listen there's two sides to this debate in 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 the women women's world there are girls who find being naked very empowering and yeah. very you know awesome and then there are other women that just are like it's not for me so right. you know I, I it's just not for me personally but i understand why some women think it's right. a, a great thing to do it feels good to they them feel good they feel it. powerful yeah. then you know aim more more power to you but sure yeah. but i think that guy's a fucking creeper yeah yeah. He was old as hell. He's super old. How old was he when he died? He was like over 90. Damn. Yeah. Get in here, Holly. Ugh. I would think <laughs> it's even grosser just to sleep next to him. You'd be like, Because you're all just old smelling and your body's just, uh, you know, just falling apart. Decaying. Literally decaying, yeah. Yeah. And like, you know, the yeah. muscle has <laughs> is gone in your face and, you know. Like he probably he's like, uh, and they're like, you all right? He's like, that's what it sounds like when I breathe. Uh, <laughs> They're like, oh my god, I'm gonna sleep next to you. Yeah, but that's why his. I'll fuck you in the morning. <laughs> I gotta take my shot, and then I'll fuck you in the butt in the morning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, but that's why that house was so damn old. You know how old people's houses look yeah. like them. And they start, they start to smell, and yeah, you're like, that's broken, and they're like, uh, so oh, am I'm I. old. So am I. That's what I'm saying. Like somebody else should have been like, I'm, I'm gonna run this. Keep this house pristine. I know. I think his daughter took over the dealings of the the magazine She's and like, the property. Don't waste money on his house. He's yeah. an old piece of shit. Well, he's gonna die, yeah. and then we're gonna kick out all these sluts, and then yeah. I'm gonna take over. So, what do you think? What do you think that house is? I think the house is like the property's worth a lot. The house is probably. But dog I think shit. it's yeah. The house is probably dog shit. But then it's like, what's the house worth in terms of its significance? In other words, you know, the historical right. value of it being the Playboy Mansion. All the AIDS that's been transferred <laughs> in that house. <laughs> All the herpes and gonorrhea yeah, that have been transmitted. The grotto. Ugh, can you think of anything grosser? 
The he big said, grotto. He said one of the girls down the my road about a fuck somebody right now at least i mean larry flint i feel like was just straightforward and and you know didn't yeah send the girls and you know the girls can't say no yeah have, no one's saying no like why couldn't it just be an even ex- well, I deal think you know people said no over the years and that was definitely the day you the, found that, your shit right packed up yeah you should be out of here which yeah. is terrible like that's a harem then you're you're keeping women hostage you're not uh it's not an e- it's not a fair exchange no you know, this ongoing hostage situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't do it, then you're homeless. Oh. That's fucking terrible. Unreal. <laughs> People think he's a big hero, this fucking asshole. Yeah. I mean, I get, look, he's a great entrepreneur. He built an, an empire. Everyone respects that in, in this country, but yeah. whatever, dude. By the way, how do you feel about this? Are shower farts the safest? Huh. Um, someone said, if you fart in the shower, you never have the fear that brown is running down, you know? It feels like a little extra... You're close enough to the toilet, you can just stomp it down. Oh, no, since so the trouble of browning yourself is now removed. Okay, this is a stupid question. I know, but I, I don't understand why we're doing I, this. I don't. It's just it's in my emails. I don't know. <sighs> just brought it up. No, a shower fart is not this. I know what the, th- the thinking is that if I fart in the shower, then if the brown comes down, I can just put it through the drain. Yeah, that's silly. The the safest fart, the only safe farts are on the toilet. Everybody knows this. Yeah, that's true. That's the safest place you can fart. It's true. Why would you just don't go just do it on the toilet? Don't go in the shower yet. Yeah. But if you have one in the shower, they're saying, do you let it out? Of course. Yeah. That's that's the, but that's the joie de vivre. That's the whole reason you live. You take the gamble on a fart like that. So you are talking about gambling. Um, here's a colonoscopy fart. I tried to play it at the <laughs> live show, but it's really a studio piece, I think. <laughs> this is a lady post colonoscopy here. A piece. You were just eating my farts on stage. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm leaking. <laughs> she really gave a, a, a proper oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's like old school for yeah. the show, you know? Just like that porno girl. Yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, that's like, that's classic yeah. uh, when you OMG. <laughs> OMG fart like that. And she looks like the moose soup lady, which is neat, too. You think she does? Yeah. That's not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> not very that nice. was like the moose soup lady after she had a colonoscopy. Fart, yeah. Fart, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. my God. So, but what I'm trying to figure out, is this somebody who did the oh, I'm, oh my gosh, for the show? Or is that just a coincidence? In other this words, lady? Yeah. Oh, that, this is a She doesn't listen to our show. I think it might. Maybe the lady recording, I'm saying. Oh, maybe. And she goes, like, say, this... oh, my gosh. No, no, there. the lady that recorded said it. Oh. You know what I mean? I said, what? Good job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess it's, you know, it's a fun thing to do. Yeah. She's got that smoker's laugh. Yeah, she does. She definitely <laughs> she eats moose soup on the regular. <laughs> on the regular. Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> I got a Siamese twin question. Is this good? <laughs> I was wondering if Siamese can join twin murders if oh my gosh. someone with the other twin vehemently protest- protesting and trying to stop the murder. How is the guilty twin sent to jail, assuming they can't be oh, separated? That's, that's an interesting, interesting question. question. <laughs> so to be clear, they're saying <laughs> conjoined twins, one of them is like, I'm going to kill this person. The other right. one's like, you can't fucking do that. Right. What do you do at that point as far as punishment? Well, then that they both have to go to prison. Well, how is that fair to the one who's like, I objected? It's not fair. Life's not fair. They were born conjoined twins. Their whole existence isn't fair. I don't know. I think they would have a really strong case. To, to keep the, the, the guilty one free? Yeah. I know. Here's a solution. Ankle bracelet on the guilty one so that the, the good one can lead their life. And then, but no, here's what the court will say. You should have called the police. Why yeah, did but you it's going to go further than that. He's going to be like, I tried, and then he fucking threw the phone down, and I was I was pulling his arm away, and he was insisting on, you know. Well, you're the murder champion. You tell me what happens. I'm talking about the ramifications, not the actual murder itself. I know, but you've seen enough sentencing shows and murder shows. You, you Where the courts lean on? I don't know. I think that but I've never heard a case like this. This is what would be so exciting about it, is that it would be a whole new field, a whole new arena within crimes and you know punishment it'd be terrible i imagine they put the bad one in prison and then the good one just gets to like watch tv and eat real food 
in the cell maybe <laughs> like like they divide the cell in half and no and like no she those, gets to go for a walk that person those people that are conjoined are either free or they're locked up yeah i know but you would be really i mean it's completely unfair to the other person in either scenario it's fucked up man yeah. the yeah. whole thing is fucked up yeah very fucked up it's not cool <sighs> i'd hate to be a conjoined twin that's got to be the worst by the way, we we're talking about Jeez. this. What do you? How do you feel about this? Um, did you read any of the Harvey Weinstein stuff? Yeah, I mean, I uh, I did. <laughs> it's so great. It's so funny because well, for people that don't know, we should introduce uh, go, who that is. So Harvey it. Weinstein founded uh, Miramax, the uh, film production, the playboy of uh, the film industry, and uh, <laughs> Miramax eventually sold to Disney, and then um, he start he founded the Weinstein company with his brother and they're you know they're big time hollywood producers is what they are they make movies they're movie producers they you know his early stuff was like he he did all of quentin tarantino stuff so he did pulp fiction he's done the whole tarantino catalog he did clerks he's done a bunch of uh, matt damon movies i mean they're he's big time so you look up harvey weinstein and the yeah. Weinstein Company. You see that every t every movie you've right. ever so seen. Right. So it used to be Miramax, which was yeah. his. Um, let's see. Let me just to give you. I mean, I want to give you like a full, a full, you know, uh, idea of. Uh, when are you going to get much. those fart mics installed? Uh, you know, is that just a pipe dream? They have to like double side his his um. IMDb. <laughs> yeah, it's not even like one list of things. It is right. It's just every every movie. This it's guy just, did. It's so many movies, man. Um, let's. I'm trying to look for like the, the huge. Wow. Mandela thing here. Oh, the Butler. I think that won an Oscar. Um, let's see. Uh, Mob. Django wise. Unchained. Silver yeah. Linings Playbook. Oh, that was that one. An Oscar. That's a good one. Big Ange. You know me, I love that show. I miss Big her. Ange. Rest in peace, Big Ange. Um, Scream, All Good Things, The Fighter, The King's Speech. I think that won an Oscar, or at least right. the actor won an Oscar right. in that. Um, all right, well, you get the point. It's dozens and literally dozens and hundreds of movies is what he's produced, hundreds of movies. Um, anyways, so it just came out that he... Uh, has been sexually harassing. I guess it's like a big open Hollywood secret. Mm -hmm. He's been sexually harassing harassing women for years. For everyone from interns to actresses to coworkers to all these people. He's had eight settlements. Um, <laughs> yeah. Then he released the weirdest statement where yeah. he was like, "I didn't behave the way I should have. I'm working on that." Um, and uh, now I'm going to go after the NRA, like a total. No, he took time off. He, no, no, no. Right? Is this before the NRA he takes time off or no? no, no, no now no, he's no, just no. distracting people with the NRA stuff. Yeah, that's a total bullshit, nonsensical thing to do. It's no. saying, you, don't be mad at, like, you're mad at me for doing this thing, but guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something that you can get behind. Right. I'm going to go after the NRA. It's right. fucking absolute nonsense. And if you fall, like, you know, he wants you to fall for that, like, well, he's gonna go out. He's gonna go after these gun lobbyists. Mm -hmm. It's to just to get you to not think about right smoke and mirrors, guys. Yeah. After that was released, more women came <laughs> forward, and then a couple where it wasn't like it, like where he cornered someone, and jerked off in, oh, in a yeah. plant in a restaurant, and then <laughs> and then a couple others, and then the board of directors at that company fired him because it finally went public. Yeah, they knew. Of course, I mean, everybody like, knew. Course, they knew. No one gave a shit until it was made public, and then of they course. had to be held accountable. But anyway, I mean, if you're going to get into the movie producing business, isn't that why you get into it? Yeah, Just of course. To jerk off in front of people. Well, especially if you're a, 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 a you know, he's not an attractive guy. He's kind of nebbishy looking, mm -hmm. right? Old nebbishy, unattractive. That's why you become a big movie producer, so you can be like, look, do you want a part? In this movie, you so gotta you can, suck my stuff. Yeah, I have come all over my face. Right, right, and now you have a part in a movie. Right. Yeah. But it, but now here's the thing. I I honestly think that's an even exchange. Which is which one? Which is hey, if you suck my stuff, you get to be a, a star in my movie, and then the girl goes, yeah, that, that's totally fine. That's how you feel. Of course, 
Because this is w- this is fucking show business is the most corrupt and stupid thing in the uh, in the world. Yeah, uh, and that that's just how. It, so are you saying people he was, don't sleep with each other every day? He in was this doing business the right thing. All all of course, yeah. the right thing. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. But I I feel like it's at least a more honest way of dealing with shit. Like in our business, everything else is such bullshit. Yeah. Like sometimes I kind of wish someone would have been like, look, do you fucking, you want this deal? I'd be like, yeah, what do I have to do for it? You just gotta, I gotta jerk off on this plan. You gotta watch. She's like, oh, okay, that's it. And then we're straight though. Everything's like on on level. Yeah. 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 Like it's, it's a way more honest way of doing things. I know. It doesn't take as long too. If somebody would have offered that to yeah. a yeah. while ago, <laughs> you'd have to struggle all these years. That's what I'm saying. To get a special, you know? That's why I was it took me so long to get yeah. to. I was like, "Whose dick do I just show me the dick?" I know. Who who Give in Netflix the, did I, you know? Whose dick can go? Yeah, right here. I would have yeah. done it ages ago. Instead, this uh, clean system of you know normal deals and this and that. I yeah. do. You would you would check with me though, right? Yeah. Uh, it didn't. Yeah, maybe busy. you. But you wouldn't say no, would you? No, I would have been like, "Yeah, do it." Do it. <laughs> You're like, look, uh, there's this guy. He said he's gonna make a special for me. Yeah. I'm like, great. And you'd be like, I he's gotta jerk off like on me or something. Fine. I'd be like, yeah, do it. Yeah, but who is it? Is it like a big producer? That's yeah, hard like a big producer. Stay. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. But then, then you're out. Then the deal is like, again, it's the Larry Flint school of business where it's right. like it's a it's a it's a contract. Look, I went to law school for two weeks. Here's what I learned. A contract is an exchange of something for something else, right? right. Very cut and dry. You give me this, I, I give you that. That's right. right. You give the guy a hand job, you get a part in the movie. It's so fucking clean. Why can't that happen more? I'm sure it does still. But I mean, I'd like a part in a movie. What, who do I have to? I know, right? I wish he was attracted to me. I would have done it. <laughs> I would have done it too. He's not. He's into, he's into pretty girls. How about like 41-year-old moms? Yeah, he would be into you. For sure. Yeah, for and, sure. And I love how you know the uh, look. Hollywood has never been known for being uh, a non-corrupt horseshit business. You know, like actresses are like, I can't believe it. He invited me to his hotel room. Yeah. And then, well, why'd you go to his hotel room? Oh, well, like you, you, you know what I mean. You, you think that was where the business deal happens? Come on up. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go there. No, Ashley Judd came out and she said that it was. Uh weird you know she goes I, I went to the hotel to meet him and they're like come up to the go up to the suite and he's like she's like okay and then he was in his robe <laughs> it's like and she had to bullshit to get out of there poor guy she's and she's a legit uh, yeah. talent like she yeah. didn't she didn't need to suck his dick to get no. Out. no of course not no but yeah i mean he's uh he's out He's out now. And there's so many other dudes doing that stuff. Oh, yeah. A lot of guys doing that. A lot of guys forcing their dick and balls on you. That's the thing. The world is always going to be full of creepers. I mean, I hope to some extent we can weed them out by shaming them like we are now. But creepers in a position of power is scary, though. It's all, they're always going to be. Yeah. Dudes that are powerful, are going to. some of them are going to abuse that. I know. It's too bad. Fucking creepers. So a lot of people out there know, um, refer to me and understand that I'm the hat comic. But then yesterday, someone decided to be a swagger jacker. And, uh, swagger jacker? Did you yeah. come up with that? No, but I. you can see that... Um, looks so much better on me. Though. You were clowning me and you were just like, oh, I can't believe you're wearing crazy hats. And then all of a sudden now, the swagger jacker in charge... Took my Bear Bryant hat. Called a style sucker. Yeah. And Josh gave this to you last night. Right. At the uh, pod. But the problem is your head is too big. Let's show them what it looks like on my head. It looks so good on me. See, first let's look at me. Look how good I look. And look at, it looks like a baby hat. Yeah. Looks like a toddler hat. Yeah. No, it looks terrible. Yeah. So this was his grandfather's hat. Yeah. His grandfather was Bear Bryant. And, uh. Yeah, but I mean, like, it fits my persona, and then you're like, "What about me?" It, but that's the I thing. I want to be the hat person but, now, but which the thing is, like, is, oh, I thought you were ragging on the hat person. You're like, "No, oh, I'll, I'll do it. I'll be the hat person." It's not that. It's that that hat looks terrible on you. Okay. This hat looks what? so much I better. Have. Look how I much better. Put a taco <laughs> on it. <laughs> that looks good on you, though. I'm the taco hat guy. You're, I don't know who gave this to me. It was either given to me by the taco people in Houston that came and, and gave us a bunch of tacos. Or I feel like maybe Richard Franco, the uh, competitive eater, gave it to me. 
Maybe. I'm confused. But James I, Franco, the actor. James Franco, the actor. Yeah. He gave it to me. I just feel like uh, baseball caps look good on you. Yeah. But advanced hats, like the one I'm wearing, yeah, don't look good on you. Okay. This is like a varsity level hat. And that's for you. Yeah. But you I don't got, wear hats. But I, this one I will because look how nice it looks. But look how good I look in this. You're roll Tide, you're going to say that? I don't, I don't subscribe to that. Say it. I don't. Sub- I don't say that's those the hat things. you're wearing. This is not an Alabama football team hat. It's a hundred percent an Alabama football team hat. You want me to show you? Yeah. Okay. It's a, it's a called a fedora hat. You don't understand this is anything. A, <laughs> this is worn by Justin Timberlake. He likes these hats. This is a roll tied hat. Okay. okay. I don't. It's a, you mean that the only people that wear these are yes. roll tied people? Yes. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> Do I look like that old man or this old guy? That's the same guy. <laughs> and that's his hat, and you have it on. <laughs> oh, my God. the famous head coach, former head coach of the Alabama Crimson Tide. See? Here you go, Alabama on it. See? So Old he time. made this popular, this yes. style? 100%. Wow. Well, well, he's got good taste, and so do I. Okay. So now will you say it? Ro- roll the tides. No, not. No. Rolling tides. There you go. Jesus. Unbelievable. How old is that guy? Well, he's very dead, but oh. um, I don't know how so old then, he was. Yeah, so he started it, and I'm carrying the tradition on. You're carrying it on. Yeah. You're the person. I to feel do like it. I'm the one qualified. I definitely look great in this hat. You definitely do. It oh. actually fits you well. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm cool. Justin Timberlake, too. You're not cool. Oh, I'm so much cooler than you. What yeah. are you looking at? Who's texting uh, you? Who's sexting there's you? There's a big group text going on right now about the bet. And? Um, apparently, Ari and his podcast said, he like, I guess he had said something about not doing some poses. So then, Uh-oh. you know, Joe called him out and said, are you not doing all the poses? Uh-oh. Ari was very defensive. Bert's real excited that his uh, sitting heart rate, his resting heart rate is 47. Mm-hmm. Um... But anyways, I, um, but he also takes like blood pressure medication, which lowers your heart rate. So he doesn't even, <laughs> Jesus. So he's taking stuff to, to alter it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And then he's like, my heart rate's really low. Yeah. He's like, well, delusional. you're manipulating it. You, you didn't think about that. What's your resting heart rate? Do you know? It's, it's actually lower. Yeah. But, you're, but you've always had like uh, no pulse. My resting heart rate is so low that they... My physician sent me to a cardiologist. The cardiologist sent me to Cedars Imaging Institute. Mm-hmm. And they were like, uh, that's, you know, I, I even used to t- talk about it in my act. And they were like, so did you used to run marathons or something? <laughs> sure. My, my resting heart rate is usually between 36 and, and 44. So that's like, you either have like something wrong or you have like a really strong heart. Right, like that's like elite. At, their I hearts know. don't have to work as much. I know. I've it, heard your heart. I put my head on your chest, yeah, and it goes like, like this. It goes, do, 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 do. It's like you're practically dead, and well, you've I been went, this way for ten years. I had every test run. I mean, like, I think thirty thousand dollars worth worth of tests done. This is a, a few years ago, and at the end, with like with after all the multiple days of going, injecting me with things having me run on treadmills, all that stuff. They were like, oh, she's got a strong heart. <laughs> I was like, that's the conclusion? And they're like, yeah. Okay. That was it. I hope so. I hope it is that you just have a superior I heart. Mean, I mean, I, I, I did the test. Did I, they I, have, you've gone to where they do like the ultrasound and you can see it and you Cedars can see. Cedars Imaging Institute. Like okay. it was a full, like multi-day. Do it I, again. I, I think do that was again. 10 years ago, babe. No, I, I, I went more recently. You did? Yeah. Okay. I also had the, um, the cardiac calcium test done, where mm-hmm. they score basically. It's like a basically like a like a plaque test. Yes, I've arteries. had that done too. Zero to a hundred. Yeah. Zero. That's great. Good. None. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to lose you yet. I'm not going anywhere. I know. What would I do? I fucking hate yeah. that so much. I'll be right here, you know. Show me what they got. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Thanks. Yeah. Um, this is always adorable. The kids say the darndest things, you know? <laughs> Dew points in the 20s and near 30 degrees across central Mississippi. Well, hey there. I don't, I don't know what's going on, but Zane doesn't know. 
Sure. Wait, so I don't know. Someone's kid, but check this out. This is fantastic. Well, <laughs> we've got a little bit of uh, interesting things going on right now. <laughs> Want to point out the weather right now? Yeah, there were farts everywhere and toots. It doesn't. It gets crazy. <laughs> there are farts everywhere. I like that kid. Yeah. Is that our son? I wish that I would. I wish I had been watching the news when that happened. Me too. That would make my day one hundred percent. Me too. Know? Watch there that kid. Farts everywhere and <laughs> Watch the ratings go through the roof and they hire that kid to do the That the kid weather. should do the news. I there's know. farts everywhere and there's toots <laughs> and it's going to rain today. What could be better news than that? I'd love that. Yeah. God, I wish LA would do that. There are farts and toots everywhere. God, it's fantastic. I know. I love it. What's love the it. deal with weathermen anyways? I mean, do we even need them anymore, you know, guys? What's the, why are the toots, why are there toots? Why? <laughs> um, do you remember a while back we did the, uh, the Juggalo episode? Yes. Yes. What do you remember about it? <clears throat> well, the fans are very unique. Um, they tend to attract, they attract a lot of people. It's a, it's a very accepting community. It's like yeah. a catch all community. And there's, a little bit of mental illness in that community, I'd say. You think um, so? Some drug use. <laughs> but I think overall, it's a positive theme. Like, the whole thing is, like, being accepting. Yeah, they, they were pretty accepting. Yeah. Um, it was, like, a nice theme. There was a lot of, like, tattoos. Um, right, face painting. And yeah, a lot of the face painting is part of the culture. I think a lot high sugar diet seemed to be part of the <laughs> culture, too. A lot of car bloating. Yeah. And I mean, that's just, yeah. I didn't see any verification other than <laughs> faces, but um, it, it felt like that was kind of a theme, you know? Sugar? Sugar seemed like it was a theme to me. I don't know if I'm wrong mm. on that, but hmm. it really felt very much like that. Um, so anyways, we, uh, you know, the, the Juggalos follow the uh, ICP bro, Insane Clown Posse. Right. Um, there was a few people that wrote in and told us that they were, they used to be juggalos or they used to follow ICP mm -hmm. and told us a little bit about, you know, what you were talking about, that it was accepting, it was something to do, it was a place to go. They're very successful. They, they've got a lot of ICP? people. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. There, I think there was some discussion of like buying an island or something and having yeah. a central location for like all the juggalos to meet and... You know, like like Margaritaville kind of thing, like what Jimmy Buffett did. Right, so right. all the fans can be together. Because they have when they have their big uh, get-togethers, it is huge turnout. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Huge turnout. Uh, That's the juggalo. Guy. That's the juggalo guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Couldn't uh, find him. This that is, guy's great. This is from that movie about that. I'm a fucking nice person. I yeah. can cook like a motherfucker. Make some fucking straight up fucking grub. Fucking chicken fried steak. Fucking collard greens. Fucking mashed potatoes. All that fucking good ass sausage gravy. Biscuits. Fucking everything, man. I cook like a motherfucker. I want to find a skinny ass little bitch. And make her fat. And we can lose weight together. And we'll bond. Wow. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That I missed that one. That was really funny. That was really funny. Yeah, the juggalos, um, dude. So there's that documentary. But <laughs> so this was sent to us and it said that this is a juggalo. Uh-huh. So this is a and he's he gives you uh well he introduces that that he wrote a song and then he wants to freestyle his song just for the public, you know? Okay. So this is a guy this is an original work. Oh, cool. <sighs> Trying to sugar. see my song. Sugar Trying diet. to see my song. Um, okay, here we go. Here we go. I have another beat down for you. I tried to practice, practice my um, song. This is my introduction Maybe to my song. Same one thing. That I was right about you. the car bloating. I'll sing it. Know that I think mistake number one is if you're going to sing a song, you may want to go in a, a nice soundproofed environment. Or like a somewhat sound, like or even just indoors. Right. Not, Maybe, out, not with the, you can hear the traffic driving by. Right. Like not in front of the freeway off right. ramp. Right. In a parking lot somewhere. Right. Good like, point. Just sit in your car even with the, the windows up. Very true. Very true. So there's so, sound problems, number one. That is a fair assessment. But now you got to give, at <laughs> least give them a chance to do the song. 
Of course, yes. Okay, yes, here yes. we go. Here's the song. I can't sing. Machines were thin. Machines were thin. They got a gun and got a gun. Yeah, I got a gun. Terminator gun. Yeah, machines were thin. Machines were thin. T16. 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 100%. T16. Machines were thin. Machines were thin. It's not. I, I actually, I don't think it's bad. Why are you cutting him off? Trying oh, to rake my rap. Trying to make my rap. Trying to practice on my flow. Trying to practice on my flow. Machines within. Machines within. Machines within. I'm out on the street. I don't give a F. F the oh. haters. F all the haters. Much love, no hate. Machines within. Was that a bush? Like leaves that he pushed, pressed aside? I heard like... <laughs> Because it felt like, right, didn't he, like, brush up against something? Right. What yeah, was that? Yeah, there was a wrestling of some sort. Yeah, like mm-hmm. I heard. Trying to practice on my flow. Machines were thin. Machines were thin. Machines were there. thin. He stepped on I'm something. On the street. I don't give a F. F. F the haters. F all the haters. Much love, no there hate. Again. Machines were thin. Now, Machines yeah. were thin. Uh-huh. Rapping on my were... song. Rapping on my song. Machines were thin. Mm-hmm. Walking down the streets. Walking down the streets. <laughs> Down the street. I don't know yeah. what it calls a song. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the because thing. So far, he is he says a line, repeats that line. Yeah, that's called a song, Tom. And then finds another line, repeats that line, yeah. and then goes back to the Okay. Yeah, but that's what that's what a song is. Is that I, what a song is? Yeah, they just repeat the same crap over and over and I I, I actually think So you would put the he you like him, Tom Petty, yes. same the same, same category. Of, All he needs is a better producer. We gotta hook him up. With like, what's that guy's name? Jimmy John with Dr. Dre and that Jimmy Iovine. Yes, right. Put that guy. What with do you think Jimmy guy? Iovine would say if he, if he, if would he be? Because <laughs> Jimmy Iovine, as Eminem known it, is the elevator. You think he'd be like the problem is cause he was great at pairing people up. So this guy, would, right. he would go, oh, you need to be right. with like that, right? Like you should, you and Dre should get together. The problem is this guy's too heavy for the elevator. Yeah, yeah a little bit. <laughs> right. no, but he I, said, "F the haters." <clears throat> Here's the thing. The machine, machine within. Yeah, the machine within. It's kind of ca- here's within. it's. I like it because it's deep. It's it could be kind of a catchy, punk industrial jam. I don't know. Just needs help with the producing. Machines within. Yeah. Machines within. Yeah. Yeah. Machines within, and you got a gun. Got a gun. Terminator gun. The Terminator gun. Yeah. yeah coming at you. I mean, you and I both. Coming know. at you. Here we go. I'll sing it. I got it. Him and Nick Hawk. <gasps> now that's an elevating Two, pair. Two like rap kind of guys, right? Yep. Both l- have lyrical talent. Yep. I see him like he should be with like Rage Against the Machine or something. Oh wow! Like an see, angry. See now you're thinking like Jimmy. Yeah, like I'd pair him with like that kind of a thing. Yeah. But we know how hard it is to compose music. You remember Animal Song? Uh, oh, that's right. Uh, and then what was yours called? Um, I did the Butthole Song. Right. It's hard. And then you, you did Kentucky. Yeah, Kentucky song. Yeah. yeah. Those are yeah, those are those weren't easy to make. No, music is very difficult. It takes a long time to make music. Oh, and I did the uh the Chewy Bravo song, remember? Yeah. That was a good song. Yeah. Those are like those were really hard actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. This is the animal song. Right, this is my song. My first hit. Animal song. <laughs> Yeah, I can see what's wrong with it already. I'm yeah. hearing the buzz. I would have, I would have come in sooner with that. Machines with thin. Machines with thin. Come on, chill. Here we go. I'll sing it. Machines with thin. Machines with thin. Yeah, good. See. That's all I needed was this guy's lyrics. Well, you need a producer. Oh, you're that's the I, you're the producer. That's what I just did. I just made magic happen. You just elevated it by yeah. putting me together with this guy. Yeah. Damn, dude, that was awesome, homie. That was powerful. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That's what I did. Um, let's see. I have uh, that was really tight. This was my first <laughs> song. Let's see if it might if I go better with him. Butthole. 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 
butthole? Why do my ice cubes smell like a butthole? The smell. Machines with thin. The smell. The smell. It was like, <laughs> like really powerful. Butthole. It's kind of good. Butthole. Butthole. I need to know the time. It's something that uh, actually kept him the, the free throws gone bad. Butthole. 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 But we don't eat anything that smells like buttholes. Wow. See, this is how magic happens right here. You just got to get the right people in the right room together at the right time. And that's how classics get made. That's what's happening right now. <laughs> this says Charo ad. It's so old. Let's hear it. Hey, listen up. This is Charo, the original mummy. I'm in charge here. I want you to listen to me. All you niggas need to go to your mom's house, podcast.com, and scoop at some of that new hot shit. You need a new poster, the ring, all that Jesus Gucci Christ. shit box. You know what I'm saying? Go to the Jeez. site, click on the store, support Tommy and Tina. I got kids to feed. Keep it a hundred. Peace, God. There you go. <laughs> wow, she yeah. wrote that copy. A little yeah. aggressive. Yeah, for her. pretty aggressive. <laughs> She would just, that's the great thing about her. You can just be like, read this. <laughs> right, right. <clears throat> Oof. Yeah. <laughs> Big words. Big words. Machines. Machines with it. It's catchy, Rest see? Big words. Oh, so, Juggalo. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. 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 Here we go again. Here's my song. I'm trying to come back at you. I'm trying to sing in my song. Here we go. Oh, I kind of like it. Machines with it. Machines with it. Yeah, he sing he hears song. it. I sing my song. Yeah. yeah he, I wish he could tell us the beat he hears because he right. hears a beat in it. He does. That's what I'm saying. There's some vision here, but he needs a strong producer like you. Yep. Damn. You're like the Jimmy Iovine of the Juggalo world. Yeah. I feel like I could probably help this guy. I wish we could have a talent show. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and, get, and get these people to sing. It's another good singer. Huh? Machines with thin. Machines with thin. <laughs> I don't know. All right, I've had enough of the machines with thin. Oh, really? Guy. One last part. <laughs> Say it again. Machines with thin. Machines with thin. Working on my song. Machines with thin. Machines with thin. Machines with thin. Machines with thin. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. It's my favorite holiday. That is. You know, he, um, I, I really wish you would have played that earlier because I feel like that was the, that was the hook. Like, that was the hook. If I had to build up, you know. <laughs> yeah. I, up I the, like that. Yeah. Strong finish. Anyway, so that's one of the things dead. I'll be working on <laughs> since my special shot. I have things to work on now. So, like, passion products, uh, projects, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. This guy could be your opener when you DJ. True. <laughs> Uh, we have a couple dad boners. I love dad boners. Do you want a justified or unjustified one? First? I like unjustifieds. Unjustifieds. Well, I guess this kind of. Uh, I guess technically this is justified because of why, but it's still pretty entertaining. Machines within. Machines within. See, so it, that justifies it. Right, He's smoking pot. Yeah, taking his drugs, <laughs> but his reaction is pretty. <laughs> The shadows, the shadows are looking like they're, they're forming some kind of thing and there's... He sees shadows and he gets like... These shadows look like they're coming together to form the fucking trees growing out of them. Holy fuck! Look at those trees! They're shooting up through the other tree shadows! Look at this fucking thing! Yeah. yeah. Drugs are good. Yep. You get that excited about shadows? I mean, you should be that excited about them. I get. I mean, he just smoked pot, right? Like that's all that was. Salvia. Oh, salvia! It goes oh. like that, and it's the shadow for his tree. <gasps> Whoa! That is amazing. There's a bush right there. It's yes, yes, and I just want to hold it just to tell it it's okay. I feel like if I had stayed in Hickory, North Carolina, I would end up <laughs> like this guy. Without a doubt. 
Without a Wait, doubt. what is salvia again? I remember Red Band was smoking it a million. I, I it never was? a million years oh, ago. Red Band. I thought you meant Blue Band. I was no, like, no, no, not Blue Band. I didn't know that. Like that stuff. What was that stuff? Like it, it's like some weird hallucinogenic, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, induce visions and oh my god! Yeah, no, thank you. Uh, psychoactive a, plant. No thanks. Yeah, I'm too over all that shit. I just need a glass of wine, and I'm like, I'm seeing shadows. <laughs> yeah, no, it's you know, glass of Pinot Grigio is all mom needs. Look at there's another tree right no, there. Thanks. Okay, mom and dad. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for that. Whoa. Whoa. But again, I mean, I don't know. It's borderline unjustified. It's justified because he's on drugs. Yeah, he's high. But I mean, you shouldn't be that excited about shadows. No. You know? No. You What's the drugs be. talking though? Drugs will do that to you. Drugs get you excited. Here's a here's one I think it's a little mm. different. Uh, guitar dad boner. Anyway, one of the lots is this Gibson USA guitar case. Uh-oh. Now in the auction, and it had a lock on it. And that's apparently the reason that it was a mystery lot was because it, it had a little padlock on that couldn't open it. Oh, so this guy bid. Auction. Yeah, mystery, but on a mystery item. Right. And now he's like about to jack oh, off. Oh, that's Because fun. he's like, if this, is, if this has what I think it has inside of it, I'm going to jack off right now. Okay. You know? A couple of pairs of pliers because it was quite a flimsy lot and I've managed to um, sort of twist the lot off. I've managed to force it eventually. It took us a while, but... Uh, so now he's got the lock off of the guitar case, and he's like, does this or does this not have this amazing the guitar jams, yeah. inside of it? <laughs> Let's just hope that it is what I, I like think his accent. it is. Yeah. Just hope. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, wow! Wow! Whoa! That's... Wow! That That's awesome. Is yeah. Absolutely. It's a real one. It's, oh, it looks a real one. Oh, wow, it is. Oh, wow! 80 pound... <laughs> Wow, that's the biggest bargain I have ever, ever had. I love seeing someone that excited. Yeah, about. this one's making me happy. Yeah, like the douche, there's the guy like doing salvia at forty yeah. in his backyard is kind yeah. of a bummer. But... Seeing shadows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is like genuinely stoked about something that matters. Oh yeah, I like it's that. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I like your guitar. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Well, the Trans Canada. Oh way. man, the stories <laughs> that this road tells. Oh. Woo. Oh, Trans. Dude, FIFA woke us up at five in the morning with diarrhea. Today. Fucking guy. <laughs> that was cool. Unreal. <laughs> what did he eat? He eat, they eat everything that the baby drops, you know. Yeah. Everything, spinach. Are <laughs> just like it's not even good for them. Not tasty, and they love to eat everything that falls. Scrambled eggs, chicken, eat everything, man. Everything, just a- applesauce. You look it up. It's. <laughs> Bitsy's so fat from eating toddler droppings. It's really yeah. bad. I know Fuck. he. Um... FIFO, man. He hasn't had diarrhea in a minute, so. Should we try giving Top Dog a call? Yeah, yeah. What What are we going to ask him about? Anything in part? I haven't caught up in a while, you know? <laughs> like, sure. Should be I a... love talking to him. Yeah. I miss him. I know. I want him... He's supposed to come out. I wonder if he's going to answer. He's my favorite. He's bad at answering. Oh. Hey. Oh. Oh. Dad. Buddy. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm driving back from uh, seeing my brother. Oh, yeah. How was it? Oh, it was great. You know, we had absolutely the same conversation every time I go up there. Yeah? Nothing ever changes. We say the same things. And then... The same joke. He's still a total animal, right? We go to the... What's that? He's still a total animal. Oh, yeah. He's still a total animal. I mean, <laughs> he, he spilled his soup all over himself for lunch today. Yeah. How have your... Um, uh... And then... How is how does driving like because that's a good drive? How does that affect your going to the bathroom? Does that make you go more or less, or how does it affect you? Well, uh, you know, I I made sure that before I left the hotel this morning to drive yeah. up to see him that I dropped a load. Yeah, which I did, and then when I got up to visit him, I dropped another load. Okay. Yeah. 
and then when we went to lunch, I had a mini load. So nice. I've 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 had bombs away three times today. And what? I'm in good shape. What kind of consistency though? Well, the the, the, the third one really was a just kind of a mini blaster. The, the first one was was okay, and the second one was okay. But it's important if I if I hit the road at like seven thirty in the morning. Then I'm totally screwed up for the day. Oh, really? Yeah. So, uh, are you drinking McDonald's coffee on your way, you know, home? Is that what you do? You stop there and get a coffee? Oh, yeah. I go to the drive to get a coffee. Yeah. And three creams, two splendors. Three creams, two splendors. Uh, <laughs> two splendors, and then I hit the rock. And that's your, it's the best coffee, that's right? Totally. That's why he's shitting so much, maybe. Oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah it's such good I coffee. But you shouldn't drink coffee as you're driving. Yeah. I know that's that's probably gonna make you shit more. Hey, I wanted to ask you were at sea on a cruise when that horrific hurricane came through. Yes. Um yes. how was that what was that experience like being at sea during that? Well, because we um Cuba, we were on the south side of Cuba and the storm was kind of coming through the north side, you know, on the northeast side there. That is like the ultimate barrier reef when you have a whole island in between so we didn't get a single wave okay it was as calm as you can get you know yeah my, my big concern was i parked my car on the ground floor yeah in miami of the miami yeah. cruise port and of course i'm watching tv and i'm thinking that my car is going to get flooded i even called the insurance company from the ship just to you know me just to check the protocol on how do you well, you're not going to believe. And then I hear we can't get in Miami because there's a sunken sailboat. Well, wait. The way. What did they tell you was the protocol? If the water comes up above the rocker panels. Yeah. They, it's a total loss for them. Mm. Oh wow. Um, how were how was the cruise food wise and 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 you know dumping wise for you? Oh, the the food was good, and uh, you know I I was in my room normal routine there on the ship. And, uh, you know, basically, you know, you tend to eat a little bit more on cruise ships. So basically, two or three a day, I probably, in the extended the cruise, I dropped 25 dumps on the cruise. Oh, wow. oh you counted the whole week. Wow. <laughs> um, hey. Well, we got four extra, four extra days. Would you, would you be willing, I found a seminar where they can teach you to orgasm from hugging someone. Would you go to it if I sent you to it with mom? <laughs> you know, I think that I probably uh, a little, a little past that point. I mean, there was a time when I was in high school that I could orgasm without hugging anybody. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but would you like you to know, learn exactly. this? Would you like to learn this tantric technique with mom? <laughs> that would be fun. That would be really exciting. Yeah. Okay. I'd have right. to. I have to explain to mom what. Tantric means, but yeah. you know, you don't want her to think it's some Indian religion or something. You know what I mean? Right. I will. Um, I'll get all the details and send you guys. <laughs> and and if you guys want to go, it'll be all expenses paid. Okay. Oh wow! Wow. So if you want to go, that's, that's, you know. that's exciting. Okay. That's exciting. <laughs> okay. So we'll do some research, wow. and you know, you let us know if you want to go. Okay. It's supposed right. to, Thanks, buddy. Yeah, it's supposed to really, you know, enhance things. So I was just, I'm just thinking about it. But look, I have to run. I love you. I'll, I'll call you in a little while, okay? Okay, buddy. Love you, too. Okay, bye. I love you. Bye. <laughs> I think he was more excited about the all expenses pay yeah. part than yeah. the actual. Yeah, he was like, no, I'm good. And then like, I'll pay for it. He's like, wow, that'd be neat. Now, is it in Florida? I have no, I mean, I have no idea where it I is. I wonder where. But I will look it up. And if they teach a thing, I would, say, I would send them. Yeah, we just have to have a crew follow them around. It's so funny. Yeah. Yeah. I would love to see my folks <laughs> reporting on that because, like, my dad would be like, it's kind of goofy. And my mom would just be like, I am so disgusted. This, this is so crazy, so crazy people. Disgusting. Yeah. Disgusting, crazy people. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she was a little reticent to even buy a new bra with me. Right. You know, let alone learn to come hug. You know, another thing we played during our live show, but I'm just so obsessed with it, <laughs> is that guy's weird speech pattern. Yeah. He does he does what YouTube videos. Yeah, yeah. I can't get him out of my head. Really? This is the guy. 
<laughs> Texas has really been on my mind a lot lately, and I wanted to honor the state in my own way with a countdown. With I a respectfully countdown. dedicate this list to everyone who has been affected by Hurricane Harvey. It's All Harvey. the inflections are wrong. Maybe it's a computer. Harvey. I feel like it's a computer program talking. No. Like a highly advanced one that sounds like a person. Here's another video taken one night showing a door pop open for no reason at all. No reason this at wasn't all. a regular door either. It was a locked security either. vault and nobody was near. I guess this could be a publicity stunt to draw visitors to the institute, but I doubt they would disrespect Native American culture by faking all of this. Okay. Do you think he talks like this to... No to people in conversation do you think because he's so, reading comedy maybe maybe the performing yeah. aspect of it megan and i yeah. have been <laughs> together for nearly three years <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, so it's hard to tell if they it's were truly pulled tell. out by a ghost or if someone was just pushing them from the other side yeah. of the shelf and playing a prank we'll never know for sure but it's if so this weird. were to happen anyway it's like up speak down speak you know what i mean it's yeah. all combined i can't place where he's from either no it's so bizarre. Texas is hard. Things were very bad there. I've never heard I this before. I can't hear this. This guy named, his name is Chills. Chills. Yeah. <laughs> Chills. What's up, Chills? Mm. Let's see if he uh, has, if he has a bunch of stuff on there or not. Talks like might... a weird computer robot. Yeah. It's so weird. I don't think that's it. And so many people. He does remind me of the guy from uh, Married and Dating, the polyamory, that fighter that you just played. Yeah. Megan and I. Megan and I. The vocal fry. He has a similar. So I'm still a bit shaken up from what happened. It's, it's him. I have no clue what I saw, and I just want some answers. Explain. My family has managed to keep its hands on a good chunk of land out in the middle of Ochigo National Forest. Forest. It's a beautiful place down there. There's no cell service, no paved roads, and the closest person to us is miles away. So it's a person. So strange. So he, he is has talking like that. Six hundred and eleven thousand subscribers on his YouTube hmm. channel. It must be the cadence. You're wrapping people in. Yeah, because I'm intrigued and I, I'd like to see his face. I wonder why he's not showing his identity. Is... Sweet cinnamon oh. and the front. Mm. There's an ad on that, mm. sorry. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know who this, I don't know, let's see. To the face reveal, I wanted to talk to you about the new channel I'm launching called Game. I may be posting photos of myself through my personal account on Instagram. Please add me on both platforms if you want to stay connected. My DMs are open if you have any questions or suggestions. So let's- Suggestions, yeah. suggestions. How's it going guys, Marvelous Maggie here, and I am pleased to announce that I am actually the winner of the raffle, top 15. So I guess okay. he keeps his, uh, he keeps his face concealed for, I don't know, well, just maybe to keep it intriguing. Doesn't want people yeah. to know who he is. Well, Same chills. We should do that. Where are you from? Why do you talk like where that? Please let us know, from? chills. Make a video where you go, the reason that I talk like this <laughs> is that my family, when we saw ghosts as a kid, the ghosts would talk to us in a higher language than you can process in your brain, <laughs> and it affected the way that my English-speaking skills developed. <gasps> That's exactly how he talks, Gene. Yeah, you nailed wild. that right there. Pretty wild. Um, all right, Gene, anything else? No. No? All right. I love um, you. Love you. Please uh, go to your mom's house, podcast.com. Podcast. Please go to tomsegura.com uh, for oh, tickets. Fuck. Please go to our store, merchmethod.com. Christina P. Online. Watch my Netflix special, too, Mother Inferior. And if you go to Christina P. Online. Um, oh, I have a store. Yeah. I have a merch store. <laughs> it, she has new, new product. Shit. I didn't even mean, yeah. That's helping, uh, that's, that's related to the special. That's right. So I've got some shirts that, uh, that I designed, we designed these people. Yeah. And that's merchmethod.com yep. slash Christina P. It's, it's on Christina P. Online. There's a yeah. tab there. All so right. cool. Check it out, guys. I got some shirts. I got a special. There you go. Very exciting. Thank you, guys. Thanks, we love Jeans. you. We'll we see love you next you time. Mommies. Bye, Gene. Meow. He's in pain, babe. It's not funny. His legs are broken. He can't stand. He's collapsing because his legs are broken. And... Oh, this is the best part, though. So... 
what's up? Like, what's up? He's just screaming. He can't Look stand up. Look at his concern. Up. What's up? Like, what's up? He's just screaming. He can't Look stand up. Look at his up. concern. What's up? Like, what's up? He's just screaming. He can't Look stand up. Look at his up. concern. What's up?